AMT Ertl's 1951 Chevy Fleetline torpedo body coming up next on What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And today we have a 1951 Chevy torpedo back Fleetline car. Yeah, it was called a torpedo back because of the way the roof went to a point, as we will see in this video. So now, let's go down to the bench and open the lid on this amazing model. And now we roll our clocks back to 1951 as we check out AMT Ertl's 1951 Chevy Fleetline. And now we'll open up the box on this. And lo and behold, we've got a nice huge instruction sheet showcasing our Chevy fleet line. And it gives you all the specifications on the engine and wheelbase and that sort of thing. And we're presented with a very nice exploded drawing of the Chevy Stovebolt 6 six-cylinder engine. And for our custom in this kit we get the valve covers, the chrome valve covers and the dual carburetors. Our choice of distributor caps, custom or the original. And then we have our front wheels with the front axle spindle. Now these ones do not have the little pins on them for your tie rod ends, although you could make those with some sheets or styrene bits and a little bit of metal, like a pin. And then we get our custom suspension and they have a lowered front axle. You could also turn this block upside down to raise your front end if you wanted to build a dragster version of this kit. And then of course we have our interior sketch. The only custom bit you get in here is a steering wheel. Everything else is factory stock. And there's the body and the front suspension, which as you can see could be made poseable if you drill out your tie rod ends and make a couple little metal pins on the back of the front spindles. And then we have our engine assembly going in on the frame. Those are your inner fenders and of course the air ducts and our rear axle with springs. And finally there's the instructions for the stock assembly as well as the custom and you get that really nice custom grille and French headlights which were popular in the 50s and our placement of our decals. So now let's take a look at the decals and see what colors they're in. Here you get this nice silver with the blue pinstripe and the little decal that says I love model cars. It's a bumper sticker. Now let's take a look at the plastic in this kit and here we have the body which is a nice one piece body shell. See that nice fast back? It's one of the popular body styles in GM history, but I do believe 1952 was the last year of it. And there's our glass with the headlights. And here's our chrome. See, there's that grill. You also get baby moon hubcaps and a chrome cover for the for the custom. And there's your steering wheel. The front splash pan for the custom and the rear back splash pan as well as the dual carburetor and intake manifold. Here's the hood and the front bumper brackets, the seat back and your suspension top of your A-arms. The dashboard, fender skirts, rear axle, wheel backs, and wheels, and of course your under hood pieces. <laughs> and here is the Chevy inline six with some of the frame cross braces and the exhaust pipes. See the nice detail there. The interior upholstery patterns, and it's nice that 
Oh, they give you this too. That's your package shelf in the back. It's nice that they do these as separate pieces so that you can detail the chrome handles without having to try to paint them in a body tub. And here's the floor pan, radiator, and firewall with our steering column and exhaust pipe. Following up with the frame, the fender, fender skirts, there's those blocks and our stock steering wheel and wheels. And last but not least, we have our tires and they give you again the Goodyear and the Firestone tires. And that brings us to the conclusion of what's in the box for our AMT 51 Chevy Fleet Line. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to see the 1951 Chevy Fleet Line. And if you would also like to see some of the other amazing videos in our series, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right down here so we can continue to make these amazing videos. And until next time, don't forget to see the USA in your Chevrolet. And yeah, I'm no dinosaur, but you can always imagine. Have a good one.